What's up guys? Welcome back. This is day two of the uh, mini challenge series that ends April 4th, um, which coincides with the after photos taken at Gold Gym. Um, and speaking of Gold Gym, give you guys an update. So yesterday I weighed in at 178.4. Um, today I weighed in at 177.8 and the goal really is to get into the 160s by Monday which is going to be fairly not easy but doable but not easy um, so we got you know today through Monday to get that accomplished um, hopefully that can happen uh, all right, so let's go give a recap of what my day went so far today. Um, I hit the gym up uh, in the morning. I also had my hand history review with uh, John uh, Gonzalez, also known as uh, Drew Peacock 8. He's a pocket five coach, um, also a video instructor on card runners. And um, we did a nice hand history review of my 8K final table bubble on uh, measurements so that was fun <laughs> um, the the big thing to come out of that whole uh, meeting or hand history review or well, two things one uh, you can't be a survivor you need to be a fighter in order to survive you gotta fight right another way of uh, thinking about it is another uh, former poker pro uh, pathway I believe Amir Khan or well, I'm not sure Amir Khan. It's one of those guys, I think with Khan, I believe, or Amir or something. Uh, he passed away, I think, a couple years ago. He said, in order to live, you must be willing to die, right? So in poker, basically, that means you got to take risks. You got to take chances and so forth. Go with your reads. Um, go with the spots. Um, and, um, but yeah, that was cool. Um, that was, uh, it was neat. Uh, he also said that, so that's one big takeaway, and the other takeaway was, I'm going through some sort of a downswing, break even stretch. It actually originates back in December, which coincides when I decided to leave the, the full-time job. So we're gonna segue that into um, to the question I got. It's kind of nice because I was gonna do the vlog uh, earlier today, but wasn't able to and now it's about to and I saw the comment here so I'm going to answer this comment and the reason why we picked, up, picked that up on the hand history review was he noticed that in the past since December I've been playing a little bit differently than I normally have been playing um, and it feels like I'm playing a little bit more passive and it kind of ties in with the fact that I'm a full-time grinder right so I'm trying to uh, minimize my my variance I guess but in reality you're supposed to embrace it because there is good variance and there is also bad variance since at this moment we're trying to avoid the bad variance and not really get into the good variance but you gotta embrace it in order to achieve both i guess so this guy's name is uh poker pro 86 um yes how do you how did you decide to quit your job and how is it going so far any regrets i think but for the the question and thank you for watching the video um i don't know it was one of those things where uh wasn't really happy with the job itself um the people were cool uh the co-workers were cool um just wasn't really vibing with it and uh just just had that thought of leaving um coincidentally it's kind of funny the reason why i got into this job was because i tried go you know, full-time grinding before um, they didn't pan out and one of the reasons why it didn't pan out was because I didn't leave myself a proper bank roll. I didn't leave myself a proper life role and um, yeah you know it just didn't have a clear-cut strategy in mind um, but uh, yeah this time around you both to learn from your mistakes, right? But this time around, I just had enough of the current job and decided just to heck with it and bounce. Um, at that time, I was also staked um, online, so I did have some, I did have a decent role. 
and um, all that good stuff. So felt like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that plunge. But one of the key ingredients I didn't have was a life roll saved up. Now, when I say life roll, basically means enough money outside of your online bankroll or your poker live bankroll that is used solely for the month-to-month -month bills, right? Like your rent, you know, your car payments, your phone bill, your food, um, car insurance, whatever, what have you. The monthly bills that basically allow you to live, right? I mean... So that was the problem back then, and it was still a problem now because I didn't have anything saved up for that. I had that idea, okay, well, I'm going to grind, and we're going to get it, and that's it. That's all I got to do. So fast forward from December 15th to now, how have things been going? Um, as I alluded to, I've been on a downswing, break-even stretch, meaning, um, I guess another good example would be back in December, I had a four-figure score. Since December up to now, I have not hit a four-figure score, and a four-figure score could be obviously a thousand bucks, right? So I mean, have I hit multiple like 300, 400 scores? Yeah, but I mean, the whole idea is you want the bigger chunks because if you get the bigger chunks, you're able to sustain a bigger bankroll and you know all that stuff and life will, etc. So. Not going that great, but I'm not losing any hope. Um, I, I'm still at it. I haven't thought about doing anything else. Anything else. Um, gonna be excited when this this uh, gold gym challenge is over because it's taking like a lot out of me. Um, no joke. Uh, it's like I'm like a robot, basically. You know, give me the protein, give me the you know x amount of carbs. You know, plug it into my my fitness pal um, app. Make sure I'm on track with all my calories and my my macros and stuff like that, and uh, make sure you know I get cardio. Uh, make sure I hit my whatever body part needs to be hit that gym session. Make sure you know I'm getting somewhat some sleep and all that stuff, right? And then of course, when you're a tournament poker grinder, because I'm I exclusively play tournaments uh, uh, format, right? It requires a big a big chunk of your uh, of your time and so you gotta be sure you allocate your time properly so I'll be good once this challenge is over and hopefully I can ship the challenge too so um, that would be three months of some hard work that uh, shows itself in that sense so um, as it stands that's my answer thank you very much Bo for the question um, what are my plans for today other than the hand review I did earlier the gym workout I did earlier, I worked out basically my shoulders um, and uh, cardio and abs. I'm, I got, I'm slamming abs the whole week, so I'm trying to get that thing to pop out. Um, I got to go to a dinner thing. Uh, basically, it delayed Easter dinner uh, with my dad. And um, after that, I got to hit the gym again. We got to do legs. And then uh, if I do grind, it'll be like maybe a couple tournaments in the evening session. And then tomorrow can be nice, a lot easier because tomorrow is to basically go to the gym, come home, and then hit the grind. I don't have any obligations, I don't think, that will prohibit me from grinding. So it's going to be smooth sailing, and uh, hopefully I can provide some results for you guys. Also, I haven't done this in a while, and I know um, I should because people like to watch it. Uh, I'll be doing live final table sweats, and I'll upload that uh, on my next final table. So that should be fun. You guys should enjoy that. Um, you know, it could be a stud eight tournament. Uh, it could be a PLO eight tournament, uh, it, a no limit tournament. Um, there's different formats that I play and different variations, so it's not going to be just no limit. Um, it could even be a six max too. So anyway, guys, um, enough rambling for now uh, I'll keep you guys posted as I said I'm gonna do this daily vlog every day up to Monday uh, as a series for the challenge and uh, oh yeah bankroll um, so bankroll I started off with like what was it 1400 or 1500 1500 we'll just say we'll just say 1500 we'll keep it simple on merge um, it is now at 1326 and on WPN the bankroll is it was at uh, 250, we'll say. It's at 203 right now. Um, 
not worried, just small little hiccups, but it's gonna rebound back, and so we'll definitely we'll definitely be on track. Hopefully, if not tonight, then tomorrow. And also, that means final table videos, and hopefully, that final table video means a final table live sweat bank too as well. So that'd be cool. All right, guys. Enough of that. Uh, good luck on the grind, and thanks for watching. Peace.